If I had wings, I could fly across. Since I don't, I'll just have to head back down to the desert and try to find my way around the chasm. It looks like home. It's home. It's not, it's like a projection, but it's definitely the kitchen back home. The way it used to look when I was eight or nine. God, no, what's happening to me? What, who's there? Come here, pumpkin. I got you something. Special. Dad? Daddy? Is that you? Hush, Pumpkin. Come here. Daddy's got something for you. Please, Daddy, don't hurt me. Didn't I say to come here? Come here, right now, bro. Daddy wants to give you something, Pumpkin. Come on. so scary come to daddy pumpkin come to daddy and i will make everything quiet come to daddy pumpkin it's our kitchen where mommy cooks breakfast lunch and dinner and cleans the dishes You don't want to hurt me. You're not a bad person. You're not. Really, d don't. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. You came into our lives and you destroyed us. You took advantage of us. You're a frightful little beast. But daddy, you gave me this. You gave this to me, Daddy. You do care. You do love me. You're just not very good at it. No. You destroyed us. We were a... a family, and you... God forgive me. What have I done? What have I done to you? You did nothing, Daddy. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that I got hurt. I... I'd been drinking, and I... She was so beautiful. My little April, you were so beautiful. We wanted to give you a home. We wanted to be what your biological parents couldn't be. A family. That night, when we brought you home, I'd had a few drinks with the guys. I was feeling feeling a little dizzy and and then your mother she says to me hold her hold your baby girl in your arms and I take you and I hold you and you you look up at me with such startled eyes like like it's the first time you see somebody like me I fell in love with you my little baby you were so beautiful, and you smiled at me, and then I... I don't know what happened, but I was, I was taking a step forward, and I stumbled. You fell to the floor, but you didn't cry. You didn't even whimper. When the doctors told us you would never walk, oh, my baby, I couldn't stand the guilt. I... I don't know why that made me into the monster that I am. Why I decided that hurting you was the only way I could face my shame. When you started walking and then getting better and better at it, it was like you were mocking me. I was such a fool. 
A selfish fool, and now I... I lost you. Forever. I forgive you. You... do? Yes, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you, I forgive you, Daddy. Make it here. Oh, great. There's a large canyon circling the tower, and there doesn't seem to be any way across. Foreboding clouds. It's filled with dense fog blocking my view, but it's definitely a very long way down and the walls look much too steep to climb. I'd love to have a look at what's down there. friend April what the heck what happened I used magic to uh, magically transport you here I should have known swirling blue lights never did anybody any good that's for sure and that cute little sparrow oh she's gonna be so upset when she wakes up and uh... <laughs> hey when did you learn to do magic I picked it up on the way here. Listen, I need you to help me out. I need to find a way across this canyon and into that tower over there. Why don't you just flap your wings and fly then? <laughs> oh, that's funny! I kill myself! Flap your wings and fly! Oh, baby! Ooh, that's a zinger! I gotta write that down somewhere. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> flap your wings and fly! <laughs> Jeez! Anyways, when did you ever need my help? Oh, sure, you brought me along, let me do your dirty work once in a while, but come on! You could have done just as well on your own. I mean, you just left me high and dry at the end there, didn't you? Just up and left without a word of goodbye. I didn't mean to leave you like that, Crow, but you couldn't come with me. Oh, sure. Use me, then leave me. Don't worry, I know how that works. I'm not half as innocent as you seem to think, but I thought we were friends. Crow, we are friends. Good friends. That why you gave me the name Crow? Oh, I thought it was nice, all right. Real ring to it. Until I found out what a crow actually is over there in Stark. Crow? Right. Crow. The sneakiest, dirtiest, most despised bird there is. They're like flying rats. You even have something called a scarecrow to chase us off with, don't you? I mean, crows are so stupid. They're scared off by straw people dressed in rags. Huh. And that's the name you come up with? Crow? <laughs> bah! That's not... No? No excuses. I can't bear it. Oh, the pain. The pain. That's all I am to you, a flying flea bag? I'm sorry, I can't bear to look at you anymore. I gotta fly. Stay and shut up, I... But you... Gave you that name because of a cartoon character I loved when I was a kid. His name was Crowboy. Crowboy? He was the star of a series of what we call animated cartoons. It's like puppet theater you can watch on a canvas or a screen. Puppet. Theater. 
I love puppet theater. Crowboy was just the coolest bird there ever was. He was a crow and a cowboy. And he had a hat and a lasso and an albatross called Old Whitey that he rode on. He had an albatross? His own albatross? And every week he'd come to a new town where the bad guys were making life tough for everybody else. And he'd sort it out like a real hero. He was a hero? Crowboy? So that's why I called you Crow. I figured you're not a cowboy. So it'll be just Crow. And besides, I think crows are cool. No, oh, damn, get right, get, get, you, you know, damn, you know, I, bruh, me and my big beak. I couldn't keep it shut, could I? I had to say something stupid. I'm so stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. It was a misunderstanding, Crow. It could have happened to anybody, even good friends, especially good friends. Yeah, yeah, but, but, but I'm so stupid. Are you going to keep beating yourself up, or are you going to help me? Time's running short. Of course I'm going to help you. Anything for you, April. Just tell old Crow what to do, and he'll do it. Like that. I can be a hero, too, just like Crowboy. Okay, let me think. Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon to see what's below the fog. Into the... canyon? Below the fog? Are you scared? I didn't say that. It's just... well... fog clings to my feathers and... and... Would Crowboy do it? Crowboy would do it, but he'd be careful not to get hurt, and he'd come right back up again if he saw anything remotely dangerous. Of course! Okay. Hold tight, I'll be back soon. So what did you see, Crow? What was below the fog? You're not gonna believe me. What? I told you, you're not going to believe me. Just tell me what you saw. Nothing. Nothing? As in nothing out of the ordinary? No, as in nothing at all. The absence of anything. Below the fog, there was nothing. It was terrifying. Until you've seen what nothing looks like, you won't be able to fully appreciate something. Anything at all. I used to hate this blue sand. I mean, blue sand. What the heck? Now, though, I love it. It's sand, and it's blue, it's something, not like that, nothing down there, it was freaky. So there's no way I can climb down, cross over, and climb up on the other side? You'll fall into the nothing, I'm telling you, I don't even think time passes down there, you'd be falling through nothing forever. Damn, 